Okay, good evening, morning. I guess it doesn't matter whenever it is you choose to watch this. I'm Wayne Wagner. This is the kind of the intro to this class, uh, Statics um, ENCE 2335. I'm just going to um, kind of walk you through this, just kind of give you an idea of, of how these lectures uh, work and that sort of thing. And um, that's it. So we're just going to jump right in. Okay, so that's me. I'm Richard Wayne Wagner. Sometimes you'll see it as Richard. Um, I actually get kind of annoyed with the PhD, but whatever, if you guys want to call me Dr. Wagner, you may. You may also call me uh, Mr. Wagner or Wayne, or you, you can even call me Professor Wagner. That's technically not correct. I'm not actually a professor, but um, that's irrelevant. Um, this is my office, although clearly uh, 832 um, in the engineering building, although I'm not going to be there very much this semester. This phone number right here, this is my cell phone number um, so that you can always reach me. Um, one of the things that I'm going to ask you to do um, today is I'm going to ask you to um, basically send me a text, okay, um, just so that um, I know that you know how to reach me, okay? I don't want to get into a situation in the middle of a test or something, you have technical dif difficulty, whatever, and, you know, later you claim that, you know, you didn't know how to get in touch with me, okay? So let's just, let's put this number in your, in your phone, and that way you will have it, Okay. Um, here's my email address. Sometimes you might get a response from a Gmail account. Um, it doesn't matter. That's just me. Um, I, you know, it's, you'll be able to figure out at me. It's dr.dr.rwagner at gmail.com or something like that. Anyway, it's me. Um, here's when our lecture is. Um, really, the hours are kind of up to you, but um, I will make sure that the lectures are posted by that time. Um, these are going to go on YouTube. So what I would like you to do is find my YouTube channel. I don't know the exact address, but if you go to youtube.com, um, and if you do a Google search for Wayne Wagner, you will see me, okay? And um, yeah, it, there, there'll be a picture of me and I'll have, I have something like 18 videos or something. Um, most of those have to do with fluid mechanics. Um, I haven't really created, I haven't, well, I actually forget really, I haven't created any of the um, statics ones yet but those will be coming out um, in due time. Um, these office hours right here, um, these are the times that basically I'm gonna turn on Zoom and I'm gonna sit in front of my computer and I'll probably work on something else, but basically, you know, you can log into Zoom. I'll send you a link to all the Zooms uh, probably tomorrow. That's on my list of things to do. Um, and basically you'll just be able to go to these links and you'll see me just sitting there waiting for you. So that's akin to how we normally do office hours. Um, if you need me any other time, um, any other time, you can send me an email, you can give me a call on my phone, and we'll set up a time, or you can just call me on the phone. I mean, worst case scenario, I mean, if you have a quick question, if you call me on the phone and it's not something that can be answered right then and there, um, I will, you know, we'll just set up a time on Zoom. I'll say, you know, are you available? Let's get on Zoom, and let's do it. Uh, the nice thing about doing it on Zoom is there's a blackboard there, and so we can kind of work through a problem and, you know, help you however, however you need help. Um, worst case scenario, if you call me some other time and I'm not available, I'll call you back. Um, so, you know, don't even worry about that. If you're nervous about calling me, um, here's, here's kind of the script. Hello, is Dr. Wagner there? Uh, this, and I'll say, this is he. And then you'll say, hi, this is so-and-so. I'm calling from your statics course. I had a question about the homework. And I'll say, okay, um, well, let's talk about it. Or I'll say, well, I don't really have time at the moment. Um, you know, can I call you back in a few or can we get on Zoom or, or that sort of thing? So um, I'm, I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, well, about everything except for grading. So, uh, so don't, you know, just don't be scared. It'll be fine. Um, okay, so right here, um, the objectives of the course. Well, this is kind of the, what we're going to learn about in this class. Vectors, two-dimensional, two three-dimensional force systems, equilibrium, French friction, centroids, mass moment of inertia, and second moments of, of areas. Um, I, I hate seeing these objectives at the beginning of the class because usually I don't know what any of these, these, these things are at the beginning of the class. So if this is all confusing, don't sweat it. Okay. It's okay. You know, we're going to, you know, we're going to go through it all. Um, okay. We've got uh, prerequisites. So here's, you know, the math and then the physics. Um, so this is basically, uh, integrals and how to understand them. And this is physics one. So this is Newtonian laws. Okay. So, um, this is critical. I've already gotten a question about this. Um, not as critical. Sorry, you can hear weird noises in the background because 
my, my dog is chewing on a really new, noisy chew toy. So let's just, <laughs> let's just uh, ignore that. Um, anyway, so um, resources, you need this textbook. Um, it should be included in your tuition. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and then with that is going to come this connect access. Some of you guys have asked me, sent me some emails and saying, you know, well, how do I get this access? And the answer is, I don't know yet. Um, so um, I'm working on that. But we're going to get that, you know, as soon as possible. Um, it's important that you have Zoom access so you can ask me questions. And also, probably we're going to use Zoom to take exams. I haven't figured this out yet. Um, I had people cheating last semester, and it really made me unhappy. Um, so we'll figure all that out. And then, um, and this is kind of a standard for my class, engineering, engineering paper, pencil, and straight edge. Um, and so basically what's going to happen for your homework is I'm going to have basically split your homework in two. So your homework is going to kind of have two. So in a, in a traditional engineering class, what happens is the professor assigns three to five problems or, or whatever, five to seven problems. I guess it depends on the professor. And you just work them all, and then you turn them in, and then you get a grade. Um, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to kind of do like that, but we're going to do some of them with Connect. And basically in Connect, you know, I'm not even going to look at your work. You just figure out the problem, you know, solve it. You can have as many tries as you want, uh, you know, do your work, et cetera. It's for you to learn. The, there's going to be another, there's going to be one more problem, one problem, which is not going to be through Connect. And that really is so that I can evaluate your work. And so I'm going to want you to be awfully by the book by that, okay? I'm going to want you to use a straight edge. I'm going to want you to use a pencil. And I want you to use engineering paper or really any kind of graph paper, okay? Now, I'm not going to be a super stickler here in that if you wanted to do this on a tablet, okay, if you want to do this on a tablet, you may. Okay, that's okay. Okay, but, in which, but if you do that, create a graph paper on your tablet. Anything you use on a tablet is essentially a pencil, so that's okay. And you need to use a straight edge on your tablet. So there's probably some way that you can do that. Okay, you can either, I mean, you can either, like I could pull out a ruler right now and draw a line uh, on, my, uh, on my screen, or probably there's a tool that will allow you to draw straight lines. Uh, there is one for this program that I'm using right now, um, but you know, I'm not worried about that right now. So um, if you wanna use your tablet, you may, but it has to be, you know, you know, use some graph paper. Uh, obviously, we're not going to worry about the pencil because you can erase anything on your tablet. And then use a straight edge. Of course, the nice thing about a tablet uh, that many of you will appreciate is that you uh, do have color. Okay, so that's kind of a nice thing. Um, it allows you to do things. Um, if you're working on your, on your assignment and you're like, you know, um, and well, well, we'll get to all that. Um, okay, so here's our grade. Basically, all the exams, including the final, are worth, worth the same amount. Okay, so they're each worth 30%, and the homework is worth 10%, okay? Um, so you're gonna have, I don't know, maybe 10 of these and 10 of those, and they're all gonna be equally weighted, so there'll be roughly 20 homework grades. Um, and, then, and then I don't curve anything, but I do have this one final curve in quotes, where I say you're guaranteed a final grade no lower than your final exam score. So no matter how you do in the rest of the semester, if you get a C on the final, okay, provided you score a C or better, if you score a C on the final, I will guarantee you get a C for the class. If you get a B on the final, you're guaranteed to get a B. If you get an A on the final, you're guaranteed getting an A. If you get a D, well then we're just gonna calculate it like this, the average. Um, if you get, you know, and if the final pulls your grade down, well then um, it's just whatever your average, whatever, whatever your average is from this, okay? Um, I do not play favorites. I am a cold-hearted jerk when it comes to grading, so I will not, under any circumstances, adjust your grade for you unless I made an error. Okay, I, I don't play the, you know, do I like you? Does it appear that this person is working hard? Does it appear that this person's going through a lot? Um, I, I, I can't judge those things, and so I don't. Um, and so that's cold and it's heartless, but it's really the only way to be fair, and so um, if you, you know, okay, so that's really the only place where I will be mean, okay, and I don't care how close you are, I am not going to help you out, like, you, you know, there's a line, and the line is 90 if you want an A, or really, I guess, because I great, because I round, it's technically 89.5, okay, so if you get an 89.5, you're going to get an A, if you get an 89.48, you get a B, okay, and that goes all the way up and down this scale, 
okay? I, I don't even make a decision. I just put, it, put the grades in the computer, whatever comes out. Okay, now if afterwards and you say, you know, look, I'm really close. Um, I think you misgraded this. Okay, I, I will certainly regrade things, okay? I'm not, I'm not above that if I made an error. You have to tell me what the error is, though. I'm not just going to go in there and regrade everything you ever did. Okay. Um, all right, schedule. So the schedule for this course, there will be a real-time schedule on Moodle. Okay, so if you go to Moodle and you just, you know, if you look at the, the tabs on Moodle, I wish I could show it to you right now, but if you go in there, one of them is called the real-time course schedule. And if you click on it, it will tell you everything that's going on that week, everything that is due, and whatnot. So basically on like Sunday or Monday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down, I'm going to decide what we're doing, I'm going to post everything, and that way hopefully you won't be confused. Um, okay, expectations. Um, okay, I'm not going to read all this to you. Um, but the important thing about expectations is that this course is challenging, okay? Um, it's challenging. It's a cool course. Um, I remember, how do you spell challenging? Is that two L's? Um, I don't know how to spell challenging. There are two L's. Okay, there's another L in there. Anyway, um, I remember the first time I took this course. I remember it was like eye-opening because suddenly I kind of understood engineering and where engineering was going and all that other stuff so it, it has some some really nice features to it um but stay on top of it and and more importantly than the fact that this is challenging this is your most important class in engineering as far as i'm concerned okay if if especially if you're a civil okay um everything 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 is going to build off of this course okay and one of the cool things about, one of the interesting things about this course, this is for things that are either uh, stationary, so not moving, or not accelerating, or, and not spinning. So that means the sum of the forces, in this case, are going to be equal to mass times acceleration equals zero, because in these cases, they're not going to be accelerating, so this is going to go away. Um, and that is all of statics, right? Well, it's, it's also that things are not spinning, Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, or, or not in a second, but in a lecture or two. Um, this is statics. Okay, the next course after this is the most difficult course on campus. Um, probably on most campus, too. It's called dynamics. And it's the same as this, except instead, um, in dynamics, this does not equal zero. Okay, and so that is a lot more complicated. And well, it's not really a lot more complicated. It's just one extra step. But if you can't do statics, you will fail dynamics. Okay, so this is the most important course to learn. Also, I teach fluid mechanics, and fluid mechanics has, has a tremendous amount of statics. And a lot of my students struggle because their, their statics is not that strong. Okay, so uh, this is, in my opinion, the most important course. Okay, um, next, uh, attendance. There is, no, there is no attendance, there's no attendance grade, blah, 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 you're an adult. Learn what you need to learn, okay? I'm here to help you, okay? If you don't like my YouTube channel, okay? Here's a link that I think will work. If you don't like my YouTube channel, okay? And this is how you can find it if that link doesn't work. Just type in YouTube, Wayne Wagner. I'm the guy with the hat and sunglasses. Um, find somebody else, okay? I recommend this guy um, at um, Texas Tech, Jeff Hansen. Hansen uh, at Texas Tech. Okay, if you don't like mine, okay, that's a, that's a recommendation. If you don't like his, you can go to Khan Academy, you can go, you can keep looking around. You don't have to use mine. Mine's just there to help. Okay, if you don't like mine, I'm not offended. Email me, let's find somebody that works for you. Okay, it's just, you know, you know another tool. Okay, um, student conduct. Um, this is really for in the classroom. Uh, conduct disrupted to a learning environment is unacceptable. But if you are a jerk to another student, like in Zoom or something like that, um, we're going to have to deal with that. And I don't want to have to deal with that. You know, this isn't, uh, you know what, I don't know. This isn't sophomore year where, you know, that cool kid was a jerk to everybody. And, you know, now you want to be a cool kid. So you want to be jerk to people. Um, first of all, I don't really understand why that got to be the cool kid. To me, that's just the jerk. Um, but, you know, let's respect everybody. We're all struggling with this. And, and you know what I, what I find most interesting about education is that we all have holes in our education. You know, some of us know how to do some things really well and some of us struggle with some other things. So, um, you know, there's some things that, you know, our, our, 
our geometry teacher just wasn't so good at teaching to us. Or maybe we, were, we went through a bad week when we went over, I don't know, triangles or something. And now there's just something we just don't get. So we're all working to kind of fill in those gaps. And let's, let's work on those and let's help each other. Um, so let's not, um, <laughs> let's be nice to each other. Because, uh, you know, this is, this is tough stuff. Um, all right, homework. Due date for homework uh, is going to be specified. I'm also going to post it in, um, in Moodle so that it should show up on your calendars. Um, you know, if I don't post it to Moodle correctly, then you get a pass. Okay. Um, I'm not going to accept late homework. This is important right here, unless you ask for prior arrangements. Okay. You, don't give me the after the fact arrangements, you know, of like, oh, you know, I knew this was going to be a tough week, blah, blah, blah. If you're having a tough week, you know, like if everybody's assigning stuff to you, I don't care when you turn your homework in. Okay. But I do want it to be by a certain date because, well, in some ways it's really just for me. It's because it makes my life easier. It helps, helps keep me sane, but it also helps you by keeping you on a schedule. So if as a class, you all are all going through something where like, you know, all your other classes are scheduling things on Tuesday and I have a, and I have a homework assignment due to Tuesday, ask me and I can, I can push that back or move it forward or whatever it is you want to do. I'm, I'm here to help. I'm not here to, to make your life difficult. I mean, I am going to make your life difficult, but that's not the goal, right? You know, um, anything I can do to make it easier while you're still learning the material, I'm going to do. Okay, obviously there's some element of pain in learning things, uh, you know, and difficulty and time constraints and that sort of thing. Um, but if I can, if, if we can avoid that, let's avoid that. Okay. Um, anyway, so you basically there's going to be two homework assignments. One will be through connect and you're going to submit through connect. Um, I don't know how that works yet. Um, so that's something else that I should say. Don't worry about the connect just yet. I'll send out an announcement when, um, that is available. Um, okay. Um, uh, other homework must be submitted and it must be neat and it must be on eight and a half by 11 engineering paper saved as a PDF and submitted via Moodle. Even if you do this on your iPad, it still must be saved as a PDF and submitted through Moodle. Okay, and there's a typo right there. Um, okay, so at the top of each page, you should list your name, the course number, assignment number, and date submitted, and blah, blah, blah. And you should have given required free body diagram solution, and somewhere in the given, you should have a drawing if there is one. Okay, um, I will post uh, a sample um, here at some point in time. I'm only asking you basically to do one of these a week. So just take some time, put some care into it. I wanna make sure that you know how to do it right. Your other professors are gonna demand this, okay? And well, and normally I would demand it for all of them too, but um, you know, we're gonna to try to do as much of this online as we can. And it's just key that uh, we establish good habits. Just like if you were learning a musical instrument or you know, athletic skill or whatever, we need good habits. So let's start creating them. Um, Okay, um, if you're in the middle of your homework and you're like, you know what, I didn't really understand, you know, I did this and, you know, I was following an example I found in the textbook or something, but I don't really understand why I did something, you can write the word feedback on there. You could just say, I don't know, you could just write the word feedback. And usually when people write the word feedback, that means they, they didn't really understand anything. But sometimes people will say, you know, we'll write a specific question. Write a specific question, write it in ink or a different color, okay? and I'll notice it, and either I will say, I mean, if it's, if it's really complicated, I can't understand what you're stuck on, I'll say, give me a call, or let's talk, let's meet about this, or just as likely, um, we'll just say, um, you know, or I'll just, if it's easy, I'll just kind of write down, not easy, but if it's not too space consuming, I'll just kind of write some stuff out on your sheet of paper. Okay, um, exams. There are three exams including the final. They're all equally weighted, so they're each 30%. Um, there will be no makeup exams. Okay, pay attention okay, to the schedule. Okay, last semester I had people that missed my midterm because they just weren't paying attention to, to what was posted to Moodle. Um, you're going to have to, I'm gonna to try to keep all of my communications to you guys to one, um, one email a week or so, unless there's a unless there's a, you know, emergency, because otherwise I find people don't read my emails. Um, but sometimes these will have numbers in them, one, two, three, four. So last semester, like topic two was the exam and I had a few students that didn't read topic two. Okay, you, you know, please read what I send you. Um, during the exam, 
you will be allowed to use a calculator, your textbook, and the internet. Obviously, I can't stop you from using the internet, so you'll be allowed to use it. Um, you may not contact anybody else. Okay? Some people like cheating. They think that they're always going to be able to cheat, and so they try to do it. And usually what ends up happening here is this. Look right up here. Where did I start? Oh, yeah. Um, they cheat through statics, and they get into dynamics, and then they fail. Okay? And then they have to retake dynamics because they failed statics because they cheated in it. And then they have the same problem because they still don't understand statics because they didn't go back and retake statics. They just failed because they didn't know statics again. And then they fail again. And then they drop out. And they go take another major, right? And they change major. And why does this happen? It happens all the time, okay? And then what they tell their friends is they say, oh, well, this is a weed out course, as if the university is trying to get rid of people. And I can tell you absolutely, fundamentally, university is not trying to do this, okay? Um, there's a huge, we're, we have huge initiative to try to get people through dynamics, okay? We try very, very, very hard. We do lots of different things. We're always changing things, but I know what it is. I know what it is. It's cheating, and it's cheating, and it's cheating, and it's cheating. And we've been cheating since we were, um, you know, sophomores in high school or something. And so we just keep on doing it. How do I know this? Okay, well, let's, let's skip ahead to cheating because I'm starting to get fired up about cheating. Oh, here it is, academic integrity. Okay, um, basically, don't cheat. Okay, um, one thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point right here, um, any instance of academic dishonesty is going to go to the university's office of student affairs. So if you copy from Chegg, if you copy from your friend, if you copy from the internet, if you copy from anything, I don't care if it's homework, I don't care if it's a quiz or a test or blah, 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 it's going to go here. Okay? I'm tired of, you know, a lot of, a lot of professors will just say, let's just keep this between us, let's give you a zero, and then they move on. I'm not doing that anymore. Okay? Um, and I'm going to tell you why. So cheating is something I get really fired up about. I was a cheater. Um, I was a lifelong cheater. Lifelong cheater. Okay, I, I, I'm not saying that so that you'll be like, oh, you know, Dr. Wagner's cool. No, 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 I cheated a lot. Um, it was the worst thing I could have done. And I did it, and I got lucky. I got caught um, when I was a sophomore in high school. So 10th grade, I got caught. Okay, and I did what people do when they get caught. I lied. I lied to all the people in the administration in my high school. I lied to my parents. I lied to, I lied all the way through it. Um, they said they believed me, but I still got in trouble. And the nice thing is it scared the Dickens out of me. So Dickens left. Okay. And when Dickens left me, um, I never cheated again. Okay. I never cheated again. And the thing about that was all of a sudden, after I stopped cheating, I remember going off to college. Well, first of all, those first next couple years in high school, my GPA slowly climbed. And it was like, wow, look what happens when you actually have to do the work instead of copying from your buddy in the hallway before going into class. And all of a sudden, I started to learn the material. By the time I got to college, um, you know, every semester, my grades kept improving and improving and improving and improving. And I still remember you know, going in there to do my engineering assignments. And it's different now because you guys just use Chegg. But when I was your age, um, guys would show up and they were in a fraternity or sorority or whatever, and somebody had taken the course before, and they had a big stack of papers, and they would take the big stack of papers, and they'd pull them out, and they would dig through to find the professor's old, old exams and questions and things like that. And then they would say, okay, where is, you know, do you have, a, do you have problem four? And they would go find problem four, and they would flip through it, and they would find it, and then they would copy it onto their thing. In the meantime, I sat across the, sheet, across the table from them, and I just did my problem. I worked my, my paper. Um, give me one second. Sorry, dog's getting, uh, <laughs> dog's getting uh, antsy. Anyway, um, so yeah, so they would, just, they would just copy and copy and copy. It would take me another five or ten minutes to do the homework because by then I had learned everything I needed to learn. I understood, for example, the statics in order to do the dynamics or the dynamics in order to do the fluid mechanics or whatever. Like I understood what was supposed to be done. So it just took me a few more minutes and then I would go home and they would go home. And the night before the exam, I wouldn't study because I'd already done all the homework I'd, I'd already put in all my blood, sweat, and tears, and the exams would come back, and you know, there'd be, you know, typical engineering exam is like four to five problems, and they would have seen uh, uh, the, 
they would have seen, you know, most of them. So they, they would have, in their studying, as they flipped through the old ones that, that were in their file cabinet, they would have seen three or four of them. But they're already down like to 60 or 80 percent, not including errors, plus errors. So these guys, uh, the guys I studied with, they would get anywhere from an F to a C, okay, with all, with all the cheating they were doing, okay, whereas I didn't even study and I would get an A. And they said that that was because I was a genius. I say it was not because I was a genius, it was because I was not studying, it was because I was not cheating. So what I'm going to do for you guys is this, if I catch you, I'm going to turn you over, okay, so I can scare the dickens out of you. And of course, for good reasons, if dickens get scared out of you, it's because if you get caught cheating, there are dire consequences at the university level. Okay. Um, for me in high school, it was like a bunch of detentions. Like no one cares about the detentions. Um, anyway, so last thing, uh, office hours, electric email. Email me if you need me, okay? Call me if you need me, okay? Phone number 510-479-6420, five, uh, okay? That's all I got for today. Um, so that's it. I'll probably do another email just kind of going over some uh, basics and some stuff. And uh, that's it. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, okay, other things. Oh, wait, other things you need to do before this is all over. So I want you to... Um, so these are things that I recommend. Okay, so if you have a question. Okay, question. And it's personal. Okay, so like it only applies to you. It doesn't have to be like, you know, highly personal. Like, hey, you know, Dr. Wagner, I have feelings for my classmate. No, no, obviously I don't want anything to do with that. But, you know, if you've got a personal question, you're like, I have a question that only applies to me. Send me an email or find me in Z or office hours or something. Okay, if your question is general, as in it's something that will affect all of your classmates, like Dr. Wagner, I was wondering what was going to be on the test, et cetera, et cetera. Um, put that in the discussion on Moodle so that everybody will see it. Okay, if you send me one of those through email, I'm gonna send you a, a thing back and say, post that to discussion. Um, okay, I'm gonna want you to text me um, at my phone number. Um, just text me your name and phone, uh, full name, okay, and, uh, and your student number. That way I'll have it. Okay, um, I am gonna email, text you guys from time to time an email that looks like this jobs okay you guys are pretty early in your career in your student career so you may not want these so if you if you don't want them filter these out okay i'm going to basically i am on a member of a bunch of jobs websites and um so if i find some that i think may interest you guys in a couple of years um I, it's just kind of give you an idea what's out there Okay, and the way you're going to know to filter these out, it's got the three stars and then the word jobs, okay, if you don't like them. Uh, I'm going to send them to you no matter what. So uh, these are all going to go on the, um, on the course announcements um, tab. And so I expect you, oh, so course announcements, make sure you're receiving those, okay, because that's how I'm going to communicate with you. Um, this is the big million dollar thing, the McGraw-Hill... Connect. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to make that work yet. Okay. You will get an announcement here. Okay. Um, and that's about it. So anyway, so that's under half hour. I hope to be about 10 minutes. So I hopefully will not always be this long winded. Anyway, have a good night or morning or whatever it is you're having. Uh, but have, a, have, have one and make it a good one. Um, and remember through all of this, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, no matter how excited I get about statics or engineering or whatever, um, the most important thing here is take care of yourself, your health, your mental health, your families, you know, your, your university education is important, but it is secondary to those things. So take care of yourselves. All right. And I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. Um, they would have seen what is going on here.